If you're looking to buy an ETF, I'm gonna show you how step-by-step step in this live demo. What I'm not gonna do is give you an affiliate link or any kind of sponsored link or any other bullshit like that. This is just going to be a simple presentation with no affiliate or sponsor. Now, while ETFs are the best option for most investors out there, even before you buy your first one, you really do wanna make sure you are familiar with the stock market as a whole. So your very first step here here should be to learn the basics of investing. And this will allow you to answer the following questions. What is the stock market? What exactly is an ETF? And how do you make money in the stock market? If you want to answer all of those questions and you should be able to before you buy an ETF, I do have a full one hour video I put together earlier this year on the stock market for beginners. I will put the card up in the corner and it's going to answer all of those questions and then some and get you fully prepared before buying your very first ETF. Now, since ETFs are very different than their counterpart, which is stocks, there are some important things to note. First of all, while ETFs are similar to stocks in that they trade like stocks on the same exchanges, they also track an underlying asset and they have yearly fees. So that is why it's very important to be familiar with something called the expense ratio of an ETF. Now, I just did another video video two on the top five ETFs to own for life. So if you want to check that out as well, that's going to be in the corner and we get into some of the fees and breaking down how to actually analyze an ETF and whether or not it is an investment worthy product for you. Now, in order to buy an ETF, you are going to need somewhere to trade and this is called your brokerage platform. I'm going to have you fully make your own decision here. This is normally where most people would blast you with an affiliate link or sponsored offer. I personally do most of my stock trading over on Charles Schwab these days, and I'm not paid by them, endorsed by them in any way. So I'm going to show you how to purchase an ETF using Charles Schwab step by step. Now, before we get into the actual purchase tutorial, I do want to talk about order types because while there are many out there, there's four primary options for order types available on Charles Schwab, but I really only use two of them. So I want to teach those to you now. That is the market order and the limit order. First of all, the market order is the easiest to understand because it's essentially an order at the best available price at an instantaneous point in time. It's saying, I want my stock. I want it filled right now at the best price you can get me. Your priority in this situation is getting your stock, not necessarily getting a desired price in mind. If you have a price in mind that you're trying to pay for a stock or better, well, that's where you would want to use a limit order. A limit order is an order order that triggers at a specified price or better, and both market and limit orders are applying to the buy side of things and the sell side of things. So you could do a market buy, a market sell, a limit buy order, and a limit sell order, and they're all essentially going to be doing the same thing, just the difference being on the buy side or the sell side of the transaction. So let's look at the visuals now just to make sure you understand. On the left, looking at the yellow X, that indicates when the market order is placed and it's filled immediately in a millisecond and you're going to get the best possible order execution. On the right there, you have a limit order and you can see the yellow X indicating when the order is placed. However, the buy order isn't triggered until the share price reaches our specified price or better, indicated by the arrow on the right where the buy order is triggered. If we didn't reach that price level, the order would not execute. So limit orders are something you use when a desired price is the number one priority, not necessarily getting immediate order execution. That is the difference, and those are the two most common order types you will be using. With an ETF, you may not find these to be as useful, but they do trade intraday, and so you may be using using technical analysis or something to be getting best possible price execution um, just by trying to somewhat time the market intraday, maybe using limit orders. And look, if all of that sounds confusing, don't worry guys, it's a simple process to buy an ETF. If you're just looking to use market orders, that's what I use 90% of the time, but I did want you to understand the difference. Now, one benefit that investors have today that wasn't there before is the use of fractional shares because in the past you would have to buy an 
entire share of a given stock or ETF to purchase ownership. And that could be problematic with stocks like Berkshire Hathaway that have a share price north of 440000 as of August 26th. Well, with fractional shares, you can buy that in dollar amounts, meaning you don't really have to worry so much about the underlying share price. And I did want to mention that Charles Schwab does offer this with a feature called Schwab Stock Slices. So you are able to buy fractional shares with that brokerage. So in order to buy an ETF, you're going to follow four steps. Number one, you're going to search for the ETF by name or by ticker symbol in your brokerage platform. After that, you're going to specify the order type and then indicate the amount you're looking to purchase, whether it is a share value or perhaps a dollar value. And then you're going to review your order details before finally submitting the order. So let's see in action. Let's jump into my phone and into my Charles Schwab account, and I will show you how to buy an ETF. Okay, so here we are inside of my Charles Schwab app on my phone. So the very first step is to click on the search icon in the top right corner. And this is where you're going to search for your ETF. So we're going to be looking at a Charles Schwab ETF. And no, it's not because that's the broker I use. They actually have some of the lowest fee uh, ETFs out there. And I'm going to show you how you can find that information as well. But we're going to be looking at the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF. And that trades under the symbol SCHD. So we're going to go ahead and type in SCH. And this, if you just do SCH, it gives you a list of a lot of the Schwab ETFs. But SCHD is the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF that we're gonna be looking to buy one share of. So this right here is the quote page for the ETF. Um, on this particular day, we had a Fed uh, rate hike decision, so you can see how that impacted the ETF. And this would be a good example of where you might use a limit order because if you wanted to get it at $70 exactly, and let's say you thought there was gonna be a dip around the meeting, well, you could have you know, possibly done a uh, limit order and taken advantage of that. Now, I do wanna show you a bit more information about this ETF because there is more info than just a given stock because you have to look at things like the expense ratio among other things. So we're going to scroll down here and take a look at distribution and yields as well as fund profile. Since this is a high dividend yield ETF, it does pay a dividend and I'm going to show you how to enable dividend reinvestment for that all important compound interest. And then of course, there's also the expense ratio here, which is 0.06%. That is very low based on the averages out there, but it is important to be aware of what that expense ratio is. Uh, for context, on $100,000, that would be $60 per year as the annual expense ratio. So we're going to go up top, click on the green trade button, and then we are looking at the order screen. This is where we have to determine if we're going to buy, sell, or sell short. We are, of course, looking to buy. And since there are dividends at play, we are going to click this and enable dividend reinvestment. And since we have fractional shares, every dollar should go back in. Now, at this point, we have to figure out the quantity that we are looking to buy. And so here we are going to type in one because we're looking to buy one share of this particular ETF. Now, this is actually an interesting situation, and I didn't plan it out this way, but I only have $70.44 sitting in my Charles Schwab account right now. So because of that, a share price for this right now is $70.88. But if the market takes a dip this afternoon, there's a chance that I might actually be able to get that order to execute. So we are actually going to use a limit order in this case, and then we will check back at the end and see if the order executed at the end of the trading day but I will show you how to execute the market order too, just in case you want to ensure that your order executes. So with the market order, you would scroll down here and select market. But if I review the order, you're going to see it prompt me here saying that I may not have enough money. So it's saying it's going to be 70, 78. Um, I might have margin enabled here as a default. So I'm not going to place that order because it might put me a couple of pennies into margin. And I don't want to do that because it would just be a pain in the butt. But this is what you would do for a market order. You would ensure you have enough cash to cover the order. And then you would click on the place order button. But in our case, we are going to use the limit order. So we're going to go to limit 
we are still doing a buy order and we're at 7088 so let's just say since we have 7044 we're willing to pay a limit price of seventy dollars and uh thirty cents we're going to click done we have a limit order and we're going to do um day only which is going to be up until 4 p.m eastern standard time we click on review order and we're doing a buy limit for one share of schd at 70 dollars and 30 cents or better day only so if it doesn't reach that price by the end of the day the order will not fill but what we're going to go ahead and uh, do now is click on place order and then it says order received now at this point you click on the order status button to see if the order closes and if we go ahead and refresh we can see the order is still open we're going to have to check at the end of the trading day and see if the price comes down enough for our order to execute okay so it's been a few minutes let's go ahead and check my schwab account and see if our limit buy order actually executed so if we go in the app and click on order status you can see that my buy order for schd did in fact close so if we click into this we can get more information so I ended up buying one share of SCHD at a limit price of $70.30 per share which ended up being the exact price that I paid because at some point in time SCHD dipped below that level now as of right now it is trading at $70.42 per share so I'm up somewhere around like 12 cents or something like that so there is some level of you know price improvement there using this limit order so it is something to be aware of and this is a good example of how you can use limit orders to get the best possible price for your ETF purchases but do keep in mind that there is a chance that your order just doesn't get filled and that's all based on whether or not your limit price is met. But anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up this video here on how to buy an ETF. I hope it was helpful to you. And I really just didn't want to be doing the traditional thing here of having sponsors or affiliates or all that jazz, just because that is just really played out these days. Uh, the one thing I do want to mention here at the very end is for those of you who are more familiar with me and my time here on YouTube, I've actually been doing this full time since 2017. And I started this channel back in 2016. Well, I actually have a book coming coming out in January about my side hustle journey called From Side Hustle to Main Hustle to Millionaire. And it walks you through step by step this process that I went through, but more importantly, how you can do the same. So if you are looking to launch a side hustle or scale your side hustle into a full-time income or leverage your side hustle into becoming a millionaire, that is going to be a really solid book for you. It is available for pre-order now via the link on my shirt. So be sure to visit sidehustlebook.info, scroll down to the middle, and then you can select major book retailers, and then you can pre-order it on Amazon or multiple different sources. So if you are interested in that, that is one way you can uh, give back to me for this valuable video. And if not, just your views alone are perfectly fine. So I do appreciate you sticking around to the end. If you want to check out the book, the link is down below. Thank you for tuning in. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video.